You're here for two reasons. You want to know more about this drive and you want to know how to boost the performance of an old iMac. So easy done, you're going to be amazed at how easy and simple this is. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this drive here, the Samsung T5, scored this, this beauty in a Black Friday deal, we're going to fire this up and connect it up via USB 3 and install the latest version of Mac OS, which at this moment in time is Catalina. But you're probably wondering why aren't we just installing the drive straight into the machine like you would a PC? Well, because Apple, in their infinite wisdom, uh, have made it really, really difficult on the later versions of the iMac to actually get into the guts of the thing, strip out the old Fusion Drive and put an SSD in. Okay, and to do that, you've got to go through the screen. You've actually got to take the screen off the unit itself and go in directly. Now, I don't want to tackle that. I like this machine too much. Although it's an old machine, it's a few years old now, I do not want to go delving in and stripping bits of it out, okay? I, don't want, I certainly don't want to be messing with that 5K retina screen. Uh -uh. I had my doubts, so I did my research before getting this drive. It would seem that booting over the USB 3 drive is actually a lot faster than booting off the Fusion drive that's in these bad boys. I mean, I can't believe that even in 2019, these machines are still coming with 5400 RPM hard drives. That's insane. Dudes, come on, they're not that expensive. Get yourself one of these bad boys, and I'm going to whiz you quickly through the process on how to install the latest version of Mac OS on here. Okay, so you want to connect your drive. Connect your drive up, you're immediately going to get a notification about the time machine. Ignore it, cancel it, go away, not interested. What we want to do now is we want to launch Disk Utility. Okay, you can go through the Finder or do what I prefer to do and use the Apple shortcuts, which is Command Space, type in Disk Utility. Okay, fire that bad boy up. Okay, on the left hand side, you're going to see a basic view of the drives that are connected. Okay, you want to click View and show all devices. And that's gonna show absolutely everything, all the partitions, the, the, the whole thing. Okay, you wanna select the root of your Samsung portable T5 drive and hit erase. Okay, and on the next window, you wanna give it a name, give it anything you want. Can be absolutely anything. Um, Macintosh SSD. That's what I'm gonna go with. The Fusion drives labeled HD, this is SSD. Okay, the format you want is, it's the default, it's the Mac Extended Journal, and you want to select GUID Partition Map. Hit Erase after that, and then your drive's going to be ready for the install. Next step, Command Space. App Store. Okay, launch the App Store. You can go through System Prefs and go into the System Update. So you want to search for Catalina. Okay, and then on the next window, it should pop up, should be the first, uh, first result. Click View, click Get. That's going to launch the software update automatically and that's going to go ahead and download the latest version of macOS. Okay, so it can take a bit of time, so go make yourself a brew. I'll have a whiskey, I'm empty at the moment, so I'm going to go get another drink and I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so once that's done, we're like 50% of the way there. This is the, the easiest thing you'll do all year. I guarantee it, this will be the easiest thing you do all year. So hit continue, accept license agreement, blah blah blah, all the boring stuff. So next is going to search your machine for drives that are connected. Okay, you want to click on the Macintosh SSD drive, hit install, and then it will prompt you when it's ready to restart. Next bit I can't record using my screen capture. But what it's going to do is it's going to boot into that new SSD drive that you just set up. Go through the setup procedure. It's very similar to what you did when you first booted up your Mac for the very first time. You agree all the license agreements, um, you log into iCloud, create yourself a local account on the machine. Do all that, you're straight into Catalina now, so you're running the latest version of Mac OS from an external drive, okay? Okay, one last thing you need to do, okay? You wanna to go to System Preferences and go to Startup Disk. It's in the bottom right hand corner of the next window. Launch that and you wanna select the SSD that you've just installed to as your primary boot disk, okay? And then whenever you fire up the Mac, restart it, it's gonna go straight into this Catalina install and it's going to ignore the Fusion Drive that's built into the machine. That's simply how you get around it. It's as easy as that. Okay, so if you didn't believe me about the performance of this drive, go ahead and restart the machine and you will notice a massive increase in performance. And just to compare, restart the machine, hold down the Alt key and then select your previous drive, the one that's built into the machine, and time how long it takes for that thing to boot. Now I find it's nine day difference. But judge for yourselves. Okay, so once you're happy, you can start erasing data off of the other drive. I would keep the install of the previous version of macOS on there in case there's a problem you need to go back. 
But if you're happy to go ahead and keep using this SSD, just start stripping um, your data off a whole drive, either back it up somewhere, copy it to your SSD if you want, use it as a, you can use your previous drive as a storage drive, which is what I'm gonna do. And it's as easy as that, really. So guys, I hope you found this helpful. This thing is absolutely amazing. I'm very impressed with the performance of this thing. I think it's meant to be one of the better performing drives on the market right now. So I picked up this pretty cheap uh, Black Friday deal. By the time this is up, you probably missed it. But anyway, if you see one of these drives for cheap, get it. Absolutely awesome. That's us for today. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I hope this video has been helpful for some of you out there looking to improve the performance of your iMac for super cheap. And uh, catch us next time. And for now, peace guys.